Everyone gets excited for a new season like it's Christmas morning, but sometimes the hype wears out fast. Chapter two, season six, the primal season. I wish I could skip it. This season was terrible. And we've been over how this happened in chapter two, season six. We have pros and players who absolutely hate it, think it's gonna kill the game and don't wanna play anymore. But just like on EU, North America's FNCS was amazing. This literally came down to the wire, going back and forth. Maybe the region's best ever. We cannot, we cannot replace him. We cannot. Perhaps the greatest display of confidence by any player. When I see this job map, I kind of get excited. A tournament where only two eliminations separated first and second going into the final game. And here they are. Oh, it's full of points oh, for my God. God. The most famous spawn beef Basically, the situation was you had Clicks, Bizzle, and Booga contesting Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite at Sweaty Sands. The greatest reboot round ever. No, oh! And with grand finals on the line, perhaps the greatest solo clutch ever. Who has the confidence to do that? Here's the story of Chapter 2, Season 6, FNCS on North America. So once again, let's start by talking about Chapter 2, Season 6. There are a few more exciting times than a new season. But in Chapter 2 Season 6, the excitement wore off. This season was terrible. Quickly. Makeshift ruined Fortnite. And tweets from a lot of uh, pro players, they're not a fan of the makeshift weapons. Now, this season was not that enjoyable for many, many, many reasons. So overall, a lot of the changes this season were very, very disappointing. And don't even get me started on the wildlife. I do not need to fight a raptor in a cash cup. But just like in EU, FNCS was perfect. It was perfect. Perfect everything down to the last minute details. So let's start with the biggest story from qualifying, the battle for Sweaty Sands. Clicks, Booga, and Bizzle had won three games in chapter two season five grand finals and placed fifth. So they went into chapter two season six with high hopes. So things are looking fantastic for Clicks, Booga, and Bizzle. The plan was simple. They would land Sweaty Sands, take what worked for their fifth place and improve upon it. En route to winning their first FNCS. Simple as that. None of them had won an FNCS yet, so it was time. But there was just one issue. What? They were contested off spawn. Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite, who landed at Sweaty Sands in the past, came back to try and claim it. In the week one qualifiers, a lot was made off of this spawn beef. Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite won as Booga, Bizzle, and Clicks came in 29th. Booga, Clicks, and Bizzle ended in 29th, losing off spawn in Sweaty Sands to Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite five out of the six games. Basically, the situation was you had Clicks, Bizzle, and Booga contesting Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite at Sweaty Sands. It's no shock to any of you that things didn't go too fantastically. Week two was more of the same. They were dominated again. The team just seems a bit deflated. This time coming 25th and Fate intervened in a bad way for both teams as they were both placed in the same heat. Somehow, Clicks, Bizzle, and Booga have got into the same heat as Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite. And neither team was leaving. Clicks, Booga, and Bizzle had big egos about it and just wanted to put their mark on this and were willing to throw an entire season of FNCS just to grief Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite. And they were embarrassed again, coming 32nd out of 33rd, Booga's first and only time missing grand finals. Unfortunately for Bizzle in particular, this ended up being Fortnite's most publicized spawn beef. Bizzle ended up copying so much hate, he has now gone trending on Twitter again. It's insane to see you had a lot of pros hating on uh, Bizzle. He even trended on Twitter, but Gabe, Tahi, and Spray eat into the reboot round with everything on the line. What came next is stuff of legends. Needing a victory royale to make grands with Gabe and Tahi down, Sprite did this. Nice. Got your finish. No more builds. He's oh! Iconic. And Gabe, Tahi, and Sprite would have Sweaty Sands uncontested in Grand Finals. That escalated quickly. So, let's talk about Grand Finals. Even though Reverse 2K would not agree, there were a lot of good teams competing. The defending champions, Jack, Slax, and Acorn, were looking to go back to back. Ryze, who was an up and coming IGL, teamed up with Threats and Jamper. Kanata, Bucky, Mackwood were looking to improve on their third place from the previous season. DGen Agers Skittles had been one of the best teams leading up to Grand Finals, winning Qualifier 1 and 2 Cash Cups. 
With Zay retired, Stretch and Saf replaced him with Avery. Scented, edgy, and commandment look to get out from under the yoke of back-to-back -back second places, and Day, Miro, and Reverse 2K. The Season 4 champions were playing some of their best Fortnite. You know, Miro here, he sees that there are two individuals here at the start of this tarp right here, and, and they're building out of wood, the weakest material in Fortnite, right? He knows that we're playing trios and there's going to be a third teammate. So watch what Miro does in a split second decision making here. So, like I said, he knows that there are, you know, three people on a trio. So he waits for that third one to be isolated. He jumps in. He basically gains all the pieces here, the two cones, the cone at the bottom and the cone at the top. So that way the player doesn't have anywhere to go. And he jumps in with one, two, three of his trio meets there and secures that elimination on a top your player jack of not of none on there right and this confidence boiled over into one of the most infamous videos of all time in fortnite as reverse looked over the lobby he had an interesting reaction when i see this job map i kind of get excited and kept going there's a lot of teams that i did not expect to go into grants like poop and them are in here i don't even know this quick so i have no clue and going. I don't think they should be in grands. I don't think these guys should be in grands. No, I, I don't know who this team is. Culminating in this declaration. I mean, me, me, Meryl, and Dave, we know what, what, what we're doing, and um, I don't think we need too much practice anymore. This video got insane attention. Reverse 2K recently made some content that really split the community up a little bit. And put a massive target on their back going into FNCS. You didn't call out one or two people. You called out this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. But aside from Reverse's prognostications, who do the broadcast think would win? So after Fortnite's greatest spawn beef, reboot round, and trash talk, it's time for the games. Into Endgame, where Avery goes down. If you want to get to hide, you've got to build up to it as Avery goes down. Followed by Stretch and Saf. We're going to be seeing the end of Saf, Stretch, and Avery here in game one. Yeah, but listen, Saf already has four Elims. He's still in this, and again, almost a near top 10 performance there. Day gets an elimination as a solo. I don't know if they have the material fight. This day is down below. You do not want to get dropped down when you've got Day down below with a big power shotgun. He has no shield. He has next to no health, but he is surging forward. And then his sixth elimination before going down. Only got eight builds, but he will get the refresh. He will find you somewhere in the mid ground. He has the builds. He goes on the outside. 75. Make that a potential six, but no. An edgy incentive are in a 2v2 against reboot round winners Gabe and Tahi, who fresh off securing their drop spot get a 12 elimination win. Seeing this team play a single game this season, they got the victory out. There is no way this team is going to have a 100% win rate out of their drop uncontested. Straight to game two. Into end game, where Day, Miro, and Reverse get crafty. For it, and that means Avery might just have oh, to fight no. for it one more time. And it does go that way. But hold up, we need to pay attention, close attention here to Day, Miro, and Reverse. Tahi makes plays before going down. What can Gabe and Tahi do, especially Tahi, because Gabe's not looking too good either. But Tahi is. is in the box and he's getting the eliminations, but he's gonna fall here. Scented edgy commitment are dominating on low ground. That's edgy now is gonna follow up here, and they find the tags, but it's not enough to get the elims. There's a team underneath Ooh. and it was slacks trying to be super cheeky there and that is a crucial elim critical for them now and miro is cooking as a solo it's gonna be their win condition can they use miro, miro to break, break up the low oh ground my Never mind. he has his eyes set on high ground but scented edgy and commandment close out the game it's a 3v2 and edgy is the one who capitalizes takes down knifer we're in a 3v1 low ground i talked about they win tournaments but it looks like they're gonna win games as well that is an eight elimination victory out for our low ground team on to game three scented edgy commandment who are absolute shambles managed to get some timely eliminations be taking that 3v3 when centers on next to no health edgy's got the most health on 110 but edgy gets another knock now but go down to the defending champions jack acorn slacks look what they've done for themselves there's no sense in commandment around the corner of the team runs through i don't know who this is it is jack slacks and acorn with reverse down day goes wild taken down the second place is damian reverse now getting in as well oh Everyone my god the front seat for action right this is these are the teams that you want to oh. see and day is on fire and he already has more elims by himself <laughs> than all of the other teams have 
in total. Unfortunately, though, and they're pushing forward. And no, it was actually your pick that just went down. Sorry, but Day is looking not too much hotter here. Avery, Saf, and Stretch have height, while Miro and Reverse try and stay alive. Acorn hits an epic shot as he solo clutches. Into top 10 he goes, and now looking for the shot to shot. But goes down. Yes, he can. He's right behind one, and no. As Saf, Stretch, and Avery look to control the game. Stretch, Saf, and Avery control the high ground, and they are just forcing these teams to do their bidding. And pull out the win. It's a bit of a reset. There's only two trios left. They're inside the zone. They clean it up. They sweep them under the rug. And now, a seven elimination victory royale for the veterans. Stretch, Avery, Saf. And Day, Miro, and Reverse take first place. In Endgame, Day, Miro, and Reverse look to expand their lead. Illustrio is still in this one, so we got some teams that are down there who need this big performance, oh my and there it is, Miro finds DJ and make it six. But Reverse gets taken out, and Miro loses a fight to Illus. We have Miro running into Illus, two of the best control players on Ender East. Miro fires first, but Illus hits harder, hits the big 200 pump. As Scented Edgy Commandment finish off Day. Going at it, Scented Edgy Commandment in the mix, the fire comes out, Day is going to go down as well. And Chucky, Nut, and Nah win from height. Two teams alive, five players, they need to make their way down. I believe this is Blake and Illus. Both these teams are down lead one. No, it was it's Edgy, edgy again. Man, they won the low ground. Of course they have. No one can take the low ground off this team, but it's a 3v1. First place is in trouble as Miro is solo early on. They were trading off Surge on each other, and now Day goes down. It's just Miro with a big 108 pump shot tag around the corner. This is your first place. This is your team running away with the tournament, and they're going to potentially go down here. Voil goes down. He's got the flopper. It's a 1v1. Miro needs to win this. This is so important. It looks like they do close it out. He manages to hang on for a couple of placement points before going down. Can he get some eliminations? Because that's two on the board. And no, he falls. Scented, edgy, and commandment come into endgame hot with nine eliminations, looking to take the lead. And scented, commandment, and, and edgy are trying to get more eliminations on the board. They're up to nine. We have six teams, 15 players. As Saf, Stretch, and Avery look to beat them from height as the end game gets crazy. And now, Niddle looks again to high ground. Just these little tags, these little interactions are going to be the difference. This is a free 50 pot. If they don't take any damage here, can they get it? And no. Instead, Edgy gets punished here. That might be the deciding oh, no. difference. Scented goes down too. Sensing their advantage, Stretch sets up for heal off. But Commandment and Edgy manage to take out Saf. He knows oh, if Saf you go down, down, you could go down. They managed to take Saf out of this. And then avery before turning their attention to stretch stretch and avery can they do it here they have the harpoon they're jumping in if you let them in your box they will punish you but they're blocking them out they're holding them out remember stretch is on the high ground this could he be the first heal off game oh they take down God. another team they take down another player if you drop onto low you will be punished they are the absolute kings of low but stretch on the high oh, ground no. he finds the flopper they've dropped the flopper this could be enough he had to go out early they're, they're holding the heels stretch might lose this i don't know how many meds he has the spray's coming out Commandment goes down, but he doesn't get oh, the siphon. This is such no. an important engagement. And Angie jumps out to the side. NRG on Liquid. Angie wins it from the low ground. Oh boy, it's a tournament now. And an amazing way to take first place. Day gets taken out in early game as Reverse and Miro struggle with Storm Surge. Last game, they're running into multiple teams. This is not a 3v3. There's multiple teams here and they could potentially be going down to Surge again. Sense and Edgy Commandment could potentially be running away with this unless Miro and Reverse can bring this back. And then Miro just a few minutes later as Reverse manages to win a 1v1. Oh, and Miro goes down here. It's just reverse trying to solo clutch now. This is your second place team. Remember, third is out. Fourth is out. We have seen Saf and Mega's team fourth. If reverse goes down here, that is second, third, and fourth out of this game. As reverse manages to get in zone, but is in shambles and center goes down. Reverse is making this rotate. He has made it in, but he's down to only wood monster. He has 13 wood builds left. That's the soft mats. Oh, and center is down. Leaving commandment as a solo. It's just commandment. Second is a solo. First is a solo. But commandment and reverse 2K are still surging forward. I believe reverse is somehow still alive in this one. And reverse goes down, getting more points than he had any right to. Reverse goes down. So commandment is out, place reverse. Then commandment. It's throw only one elimination difference commandment goes down that is gonna leave the leaderboard so close as dgen agers and skittles have height the zone goes up a hill 
as Kanata tries to hold out for as long as possible. Can Kanata survive this? Can he try to get around the outside? Kanata's looking like he might find Goku. There it is, he gets the second place. It would be monumental effort to take out the victory rail here in no ages. D-Gen Skittles, they descend onto Kanata. They get the nine elimination victory out. And after one day, it looks to be a three horse race with Scented, Edgy, and Commandment hanging on to first place. On to day two, which would produce one of the game's most legendary clutches and one of its most tragic errors. First place gets straight to business. Our first place team is breaking the mold. They are changing things. We talked about hitting the VODs and no one hits the VODs harder than Scented. This guy puts in the hours, he puts in the time, and he's obviously figured out to Quentin's team is, is easy pickings near the- In mid game, Reverse goes down and Day and Miro are in shambles. I think Reverse has been capitalized on. I'm only seeing Day and Miro. They're getting stunk fish now. They're backed up against the corner. But Day and Miro get the Elim and enough loot to keep them afloat. Miro and Day might get enough loot to actually extend their game sometimes just sometimes things just work in your favor and this might be one of those very unique circumstances where oh, once again this nice. trio gets granted exactly what they they need desperate for storm surge in the end game miro gets a timely elimination day two if they get two wins back to back they are very much in oh that conversation gosh. to jump up as miro goes around the outside but no storm surge one and twelve love he's he's knocked down sully if he can he jump down to, and get this one 15 to. hp he needs to finish 85 it's just not enough he doesn't get the finish and he doesn't get the surge but there it is he gets the finish it comes through but i think day has gone down as day goes down and gets them to top 10. Top 10 as a solo with two eliminations is still nothing to overlook. Dgen chooses Chaos with a wild zipline play. Oh, but on the bottom, Sensit, Edgy, Commandment oh, are still alive and they're alive together. <gasps> Dgen causing havoc here though. Acorn and Jack still up as well. Hold up, Dgen's still doing it. And he finally gets cut out there. Sensit and Commandment go down, leaving Edgy as a solo. Edgy's lit up right oh, now. No. 36 HP is up to him to clutch out right now. Nash, Nut, and Chucky hold on height again. Again in late game, as Stretch goes down but gets a ton of points as a solo. Josh, Nut, and Chucky are back where everything begins. Spire is their drop. It's their starting location. It's gonna be their ending location. They're gonna get the sixth elimination victory out. And Dgen, Agers, and Skittles knock Day, Miro, and Reverse to third. Day and Reverse go down early again, leaving Miro alone. But Reverse is gonna fall there. That's a knock coming out of Voyu, and his team and Voyu is gonna get the finish. And now, Day is also down. But he has no magic this game, and goes down. He only has wood builds as well, so he needs to get away and know the fire is following. And I have to imagine this is it. This is gonna spell disaster for Miro. He is going to fall down. Scented, Edgy, and Commandment are in huge trouble. And into them. Edgy's Do they down. Have the meds? Do they have a way back into Scent is down. down. Scented goes down. It's just Commandment. We are potentially going to be going into this end game with first and third out of this stretch looks to capitalize by pushing height and hitting an amazing shot on scoped want to come up here you're gonna have to do more slash acorn and jack are moving towards them which means that it seems like they have surely pulled high ground and that was a ridiculous shot right there from stretch as commandment is cooking as a solo is you really high and exposed and if someone can test you oh. they can oh commandment but goes down in their best opportunity to take first, Dejan and Skittles are down leaving Agers to clutch, and he does, getting two critical eliminations. Avery's time to now jump up. This is the time for Acorn and Slack to also jump up. They have to take full advantage of this situation. Agers down low though, clutching by himself, finds two, and keeps going. He doesn't even need a follow up from the AR because the pup is doing the work for him. Barely escaping zone to use a med kit. Pushing forward with zero mats before getting taken out, a tournament changing solo clutch. They almost got a top five last FNCS. They need to clutch one up this time. They just fell short, but no. As Avery, Stretch, and Saf rain down from height and take out Pam Stu and Fatch and W Carry for the win. This time around, they're coming down as a full trio. Saf does not want a repeat performance from yesterday. There's no way they're willing to drop this one. They're going to go the distance right now. They're going to make sure they win this one out smooth easy and this stinkbo is literally the win factor there's one pump can they get the second of course they can and it's a queen clean wrap up for them as the leaderboard has a major shakeup ager's solo clutch was enough to take first place by just two points and stretch saf and avery move in to the top three eight games in the books four teams have a shot to win iconic indeed
since Stretch, Saf, and Avery go down early, and as we move towards endgame, Day goes down, leaving Miro and Reverse to push. Does find Hornet there, so at least it's one of the few, and no, but not anymore, and they could not get the loot, and now Day falls down oh, for dang. jumping in for the loot there, so they are now down a member. Then, Degen and Edgy. Oh, but unfortunately, Degen falls. Edgy is going down. Reverse goes down. Oh no! Reverse goes down. Sentig gets an Elim. On the edge of the storm. That's the refresher they need and the follow up from Sentig. It's gonna be good. There goes the full finish. But is left as a solo and tries to clutch up some final points. Can he get there safely? Can he find it? He oh, does. No. But no, the stinker is greeted and he gets taken out. An aspect, Kaz, and Who Fishy pull out the win over Jamper and Threats. And we have a brand new top five as things heat up. As you can guess, the next three games would be bonkers. Reverse Day and Miro stay aggressive and wipe a trio in an early game fight. And DGen, Agers, and Skittles are in horrific position and go down early. He is trying to get to that zone as quick as possible. Does he get in? No, they both go oh, down. No. DGen and Skittles are out. Agers is a solo. 23 health, 100 shield, 7 builds. I have to think this is it. Disaster is struck and Agers is going down swinging. It is all eyes on Commandment, Centered, and Edgy. Stretch goes down. As Stretch goes down as well. So Endgame would be a battle between two teams. Scented, Edgy, and Commandment versus Day, Reverse, and Miro. They need the zone to pull across as Day gets another knock. As Scented, Edgy, and Commandment hang on by a thread, but Scented hits the perfect edit on Miro. Actually, find Rokane there on the backside of the Ooh. zone before he and falls Miro to the hands of Scented. As Scented clutches to second. Pressure's on. We've seen Edgy pull off the last play shot. We've seen Commandment do it time and time again. Scented, do you have it? Nerves of Steel, the big pump in the back pocket, the infantry rifle. I have been hyping up your aim for days now. Can he pull it off? And no, he's going to go around the outside. He pushes away. He denies the elimination. And Mackwood, Kanata, and Bucky walk away with a 15, 15 elimination victory out Macwood, bucky and kanata finally clinch a win after struggling for so much of the tournament and going into the final two games scented edgy and commandment have a good but not great lead on to game 11 which had the clutch Game 11 had a huge moment right away as DJ and Agers and Skittles go down, making the tournament a two horse race. Stacky is now the last alive here for his duo, or actually one of the missing parts here. He might have a second player nearby, but DJ has to clutch up here. He doesn't even have oh, HP. He is he the last member alive on his no. trio, and he is going to fall right now. So, third place now out of the game. Miro makes a great sneak play, and then they push. Oh, there Miro's it is. Set up for it. They have no idea. It's coming. Can Miro get the beam? Miro gets the beam. This is what they need. That is the green light. They are going in, and this is their fight for the FNCS right here. Yeah, for sure. And look at this is the, this is how it all can work out. Just Ooh. grabbing those walls, setting yourself for the next Elim up. Miro's gonna go out and find the one that he needs here. At this point, when Day Miro and Reverse are looking like this, when they're playing like this, the enemies may as well be floppers because they are just going to farm them. And they keep cooking on their rotate. It just be another free Elim. Ooh. There it is. That's onto Adams. The knock right there. Surely that's gonna convert, and that's. A full trio reverse UK still has his eyes on those teams down low into endgame as day goes down and commandment gets an elimination and Miro previews what he's about to unleash as he makes a wild play for height with just one build Miro's going for high ground they're sick of playing for second they want first and even as a duo they go up but Miro has one build but gets the refresh pedestal and you need to prove that this was the right call do you get the refresh he has to move the body back so the mass don't fall off the edge that's 17 builds that could be enough and reverse goes down leaving Miro to make history. Reverse takes down Slam. They're getting eliminations in a different area. Miro has put the team on his back and gone for the hero play. And I respect it, but was it the right call? Miro has to prove it was. Yeah, so far so good right here because he has found a lot of eliminations. He finds another one there on the backside of zone. The Elims are the difference maker because he's still up. He's still early in placement as well. So you cannot count this out. And Miro might just be as quick as a flash here. He's going to walk you through the side. He oh. finds two. That's one. Oh and that's the second. And all of a sudden, Miro is proving why he is this good. And he wants another championship. He's not going to make it easy. Sets it is down. Edgy is down. They are now out of this competition. Where is Commandment? Could Commandment still be up 
If so, this is still on it the is. line here. He's gonna find another knock onto Rise. Miro might just have the biggest clutch of the season right here, right now. There's only one, two players left below him. There's a knock there, Ozzy. Can he actually do this all? It's a full trio. Look, they it's, found commandment. It's threats and jam. Here has a drop down. Can he make it work? Oh he's my gosh. Everything is a solo. He put everything on his back. Oh my he's gosh. jumping the side. He's hitting perfect shots. Nine builds. Has time to get the minis off. Let's see it, Miro. We hired you up as a solo player. You've done it as a trio champion. But right now, everyone is watching. Your teammates are watching. First place is watching. Can you overtake them? Just misses oh, the shot. And no. no. That last pump shot over the top was just enough. But we can't take it away from him. The confidence. Who has the confidence to do that? Bro, Miro! Ah! And Scented, Edgy, and Commandment managed to hold on to a four-point lead. Oh, it's four points, oh boys. Oh my god, what is okay. happening? Or just two eliminations. Legacies were at stake. The pressure was high. Time for one last game. At the start of game 12, Scented would make a fateful decision. And again, Scented and Edgy have never lost an event when in first going into the final game. Pushing a team in Flush Factory, but not realizing there are two teams. And they're pushing teams into here. a 3v, 3v, 3. This is terrifying. I don't know if Scented Edgy Commandment knows there's another team here already. And pay the price. Ooh. Commandment gets killed. Oh no! Scented gets no! no! This is the FNCS right here! Scented goes down! Commandment is on 32 health. Commandment and Edgy try to desperately stay afloat. Day goes down. Day is down too. Yes, I... Day is no. down. Day just fell to Hornet what? inside the feed. But gets picked up. Okay, Day was picked up, so they managed to save themselves here. Edgy and Commandment rotate away to try and reboot Scented as the broadcast puts Miro's greatness into perspective. Things get a little sketchy for Day, Miro, and Reverse as they are being held in zone by Degen, Agers, and Skittles. Degen, Agers, Skittle, going Coop is here. Game here on reverse. Coop, Adams, and Cod Genesis are in the fray. Someone is winning this. They're Ages on the tagged. surge. It's them who's below surge as well, so they need to get active. But reverse gets an elimination right as storm surge hits. Going reverse who can't find Adams. Who's getting hit by surge? Now Adams going down to surge. They get on top of Adams. Do they get the damage? They're 105 above. And Day goes down again. There are players Another one right in. here in the box. It's no. Ages, Skittles, they come down. Day goes down reverse he throws him back but they get him up again with scented down for good commandment and edgy have to clutch as miro reverse and day get another elimination day they're still More. popping off another team wipe there they're gonna find the elite boys on the outer edge here at pleasant park and it looks like they're gonna be able to wipe this up and finish them up in the end game commandment is in trouble as day miro and reverse tie it up He's been a little bit quiet today. It's been the story of Miro. No, Commandment is so low. He's almost down. Edgy's going forward. Three builds. Edgy, you have to show us what you can do. You've been clutching up so many points today as a solo. You're going to need to because Day is still getting points on the backside. Miro gets another elimination and Edgy goes down. Touching Edgy's forward. down. And no, Edgy is down. Then Day and Miro go down, giving Commandment one last chance to clutch the points. He needs to win. Commandment, he has to take on a full trio of the Miro's best players down. in the world. But Miro goes down. Days goes down. It's just Days reverse. Down. Reverse manages to get Miro up. And Commandment finally goes down. Commandment. Commandment goes down. Commandment's down. And she is down. down. As Miro hangs on to a few more placement points before going down. Pick to zone. Miro, you stepped up in front of the whole lobby and showed everyone who you are. You need to hold and on. There and there it is. Down. They're both out. Avery cooks as Kaz, Aspect, and Who Fishy win the game. Try to play for a big dub here. Avery's gonna hop on down. He wants to get inside the mix here. Here comes the pump shot. That's a beautiful white tag. Can Sap stretch and Avery close out in dominant fashion here? Avery's on fire right now. There's a beautiful pump and a finish. Sap down. Sap goes down, stretches up there. Avery, we talked about it. You have big shoes to fill. You jumped up and you took over oh, stage no. four. Can you happen from the high ground? Kaz goes down. Avery's doing everything thing he can but it just wasn't enough he played it so well kaz aspect and who fishy their second victory out of the day but they've done it i don't believe it let's go okay th this is unreal. Oh, okay man. so day mirror reverse they are your nae fncs final season six champions baby 372 points 77 eliminations an average place on 8.2 managing to sneak out the win by just 11 points with Stretch, Avery, and Saf in third, Degen, Agers, and Skittles proved they belonged among the region's elite.
Rise made his first of many great placements, coming in fifth with Jamper and Threats. And rounding out the top 10 was Pam Stu, who would have the tournament of his life just a few weeks later in solo All-Stars. In the glow of victory, Reverse flexed iconically in what would be the final peak of a great career. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. Their duo would break up for season eight as Miro would lend a hand to the three peat that saved Booga's career. The boxer, Muhammad Ali, said, If you ever dream about beating me, wake up and apologize. <laughs> and aren't we happy in their last moment? Day, Miro, and Reverse brought that energy to FNCS. Like, sub, and check out our other videos. We have linked the story of Reverse 2K.